again, friends. And here I am again. This time I'm out of my dollhouse. And behind me are my Care Bears. I keep my Care Bears up high, up near the roof of my dollhouse. I'm up really high. I'm standing on a stool right here. So I've come up here to be closer to my Care Bears. And this is my Care Bear collection behind me. Well, some of my Care Bear collection. My toys are, oops, got something in my hair there. My toys are inside my plastic toys. They're going to come out here, but not yet. Um, so here's my Care Bear collection. And tonight we are going to read this book. Did you ever pet a Care Bear? things to touch and feel. So this is an old vintage book. That's how we say old. We say vintage. And if you touch right here, one of these days we'll have touch access into the iPhone, but not just yet. It feels fuzzy. Now this book was given to my brother's friend on his first birthday. So that would have been 1983. So this book's pretty old. Did you ever pet a Care Bear? Pet this one and you'll see. So this right here, this is Cheer Bear. Okay, so Cheer Bear is, is back here now. This Cheer Bear, if you, if you pet him, well, he has the clink effect. So he's not very pettable. That's because he's made out of ceramic but this cheer bear this one you can pet and remember i like to find things used i don't like to buy things new and i actually found cheer bear this particular cheer bear i found yesterday at the consignment sale that we have in our town twice a year and he was on the ground under the table and he was, oops, I've still got his tag on, but they tore off the price. He was $1. So I was very happy about finding him. In fact, I'm gonna put him up here with the other cheer bears. And there's his little house back behind him. It's the cheer bear house. Let's go back to our book, see if I can find the page I was on. A Care Bear isn't bumpy like the bark upon a tree. Well, somebody felt this bark right here so much that it's gone. But we could go outside the dollhouse and there's trees and we could feel the bark and the bark is bumpy. You could go outside and you could feel the bark on the tree and it's bumpy. So a Care Bear is not bumpy. Now this is, this is Fun Shine, Fun Shine Bear. So here's Fun Shine. And if you feel Fun Shine, he's very soft. Now he has a little, a little sun on his belly. And that's why he's called Fun Shine because he's fun in the sun. Oh, this is how they used to dress kids back when I was growing up. A Care Bear hasn't ridges like the overalls you wear. Well, you probably don't wear overalls like this anymore, but this used, this used to be popular. And these kind of feel velvety, and a Care Bear doesn't Care Bear doesn't feel like that. So Care Bear feels soft and he is playing with baby tugs. Now, baby tugs is right here. So I'm gonna set my book down and hope that I don't fall as I reach up high and I got him, I got baby tugs. So if you feel baby tugs and see he's smiling, this is one of my favorite Care Bears. Although Tender Heart's really my favorite, but I love baby tugs, especially cause he's got on this cute little diaper and all the Care Bears have a little heart on their bottom. And he's got this cute little star in a little 
looks like a little baby bed on his belly and he's just so sweet. So we put baby tugs up here on lots of love, lots of heart elephant on top of his head and lots of heart. He is a Care Bear cousin. So the Care Bears have cousins like we have cousins. Those are bears that are kin to them or related to them. A Care Bear isn't slippery like a ribbon for girls' hair. So there's Friendship Bear. You can tell because of the two flowers on her belly. And there is the ribbon in the girl's hair. Now, this is vintage, but are the ribbons that we wore as little girls, they were satin, so they felt very slippery. Now, we're gonna put our book down over here on the Huffalump's head, and we're gonna find Friendship Bear. I have a couple of Friendship Bears, one that's vintage and one that's newer. My newer one's a little bit smaller, and Friendship Bear has two little flowers on her belly, one for her and one for a friend. And she's kind of a yellow-orange color. So we'll put her back up in between the vintage Friendship Bear and the vintage Funshine Bear. Let's turn the page. A Care Bear feels quite different than the towel with which you rub when you dry yourself completely when you climb out of the tub. So here's the towel, and they make towels softer now than they used to. This is Tender Heart Bear, but boy, howdy, our towels used to be rough when we were growing up. We didn't have these soft, nice towels that they sell now. And so a Care Bear didn't feel like this, this towel, like this towel feels right here. That's not how a Care Bear feels. So let's find Tender Heart. Now Tender Heart's my favorite. So I have a vintage, a small vintage, a big newer Tender Heart, and newer Tender Heart. And then I have Braveheart, which is Tender Heart's Care Bear cousin. So I'll take my little Tender Heart bear and here he is. And Tender Heart's always been my favorite Care Bear. I don't know why, he just is. Maybe because his heart is tender or I like his colors. I don't know, I just really like Tender Heart. Here on the back is Wish Bear. And Wish Bear is up here somewhere. Okay, so I don't have a plush of Wish Bear, but I do have a toy Wish Bear. And this is my toy Wish Bear right here. So I'll have to keep my eye out for a plush Wish Bear, but I'm gonna find one at the Goodwill because I'm not gonna pay more than one or two dollars for Wish Bear. Cause it's hard to make money. And when we make money, we need to be careful how we spend it. Uh, up here we have Bedtime Bear and we have Grumpy Bear and we have Friend Bear with the tree. This is a 1991 Kenner Vintage. Then we have Ice Cream Sunday Bear, and we have Birthday Bear. We have some Care Bear toys right here, and I have more Care Bear toys inside. We have a Care Bear game, we have a Care Bear glass, and we have a Care Bear picture. So lots of Care Bear stuff. We, I'm wearing a Care Bear shirt, and yesterday I had on Care Bear leggings. I even have a Care Bear mask when I have to wear a mask sometimes because of COVID and sometimes we go places where they want me to have on a mask and so then I'll put on my Care Bear mask and it hangs on the rear view mirror of my van. And so I love the Care Bears 
and I am at the moment hunting for my oldest Care Bear toy I can remember having is the 1982 Kenner Vintage Carolot. And it's where all these Care Bears lived. It's a red heart and you open it up and it's a case, but it has a slide that comes down and it has a swing you can put them in. And I have the little Care Bear toys in a bag and it has a teeter-totter and some clouds. So they come up on eBay a lot, but I always get outbid because I don't really like eBay. It, <clears throat> I always have to pay too much money on eBay. So I keep looking for it at thrift stores. And so far, I, I'm really lucky at thrift stores, but so far I haven't found a uh, care a lot just yet. But I keep my eye out and I hope one day that I will. So I hope that you've enjoyed this episode with the Care Bears. Uh, please watch for more Care Bear episodes. If you like Care Bears, we'll be playing some Care Bear games and reading some Care Bear stories and doing some more things with Care Bears because I really like them. And as you can see, I have a lot more out here in my dollhouse. I have Huffalumps and I have my buddy and kid sister and baby talk and I have Smurfs and I have Cabbage Patch and I have Ashton Drake and Paradise Galleries and I have Disney Princesses and I have My Little Pony and I just have dolls everywhere. So we have a lot to do. Every day is a really good day when you love dolls and you love toys because you never have enough time. There's always something to do. So I hope you have a good night and sweet dreams.